Today we're throwing axes. So we're here for the soft opening of Bad Axe Nashville in Pie Town, just outside of downtown Nashville. And uh, this is a client that we actually helped secure this lease uh, a little bit ago, and they've finally finished their build out and are getting open for business. So this is an old warehouse district just outside of the downtown core. So we're actually walking distance to Broadway from here. And Bad Axe Nashville is the largest axe throwing bar in the city here to capitalize on all of the tourism. So they invited my team out to come take a look and enjoy everything that's going on here. So we're gonna drink some beer and throw some axes. Yeah. Tom? I've never met you. I know. How you doing, man? How does that happen? <laughs> I know, man. How you been? Nice to, nice to see you. How are nice you? Nice to meet you as well. This space looks beautiful, man. Thank you. What do you think? Like, knowing what it looks like you before and see. Words. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it had, like, tiny little... I mean, you could, you couldn't hardly stick your head through those windows. Remember all the offices in this yeah. room? So, we started a vlog. Okay. And we're doing now... Do you have a minute to sit down yeah, and yeah, talk absolutely. about Bad Axe and Nashville yeah, yeah, and all that kind absolutely. of stuff? Yeah. What are you guys yeah. On? What's your goal? If you don't mind, so so basically, what I want to show is, I mean, this is the vlog. So we do five videos a week, but this this one is just more of a like kind of what we got going on. So I just want to show kind of show you guys off, talk about the process of finding the space when we sit down. But okay. let's show the space off first. I want everybody to see this is open. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you see the the view is probably the best thing that we have of the whole building. Yeah. Uh, which is just. You know, whole panoramic, just the different perspectives of the whole uh, of the whole whole section, which is why we love. Well, you have such a great view corridor because there's no tall buildings between you and exactly. the skyline. Exactly, and the Batman building is in perfect direction from here. So, yeah, that's but awesome. But anyway, um, so what, well, why don't we start in the front? And we'll yeah. Start. So we wanted to make something unique. Um, actually built the built the axe light fixture uh, it's really to cool kind of fun and different yeah um, you know a lot of axe throwing places are more geared towards uh, axe throwing itself uh, and uh, you know generally just built purpose built we really wanted to kind of create a true like experience for the customer that's truly like a Northwoods experience from the second you walk in with the axes to the way we can see through the lane into the target, kind of this live motion, right, as you come in. Uh, and then we tried to showcase the whole view, and then we decided to do a full exhibition-style kitchen so you can see what's going on, you can see our chefs at work, uh, and then you can see our community bar, which I like. I always like to be able to face other people, be part yeah. of the community, be able to see what's going around you versus just facing a wall or facing a bunch of TVs. So. That was kind of the aspect we had in here. That's great. I mean, to be able to walk in. So just so you all know, when we first came into this space, I mean, it was it was an old warehouse, hadn't been used in years and years. And the windows were tiny. I mean, they, they were three feet by three feet, maybe? There, there was one window, actually, where the first window is, and it was probably half that. And that yeah. was the only window in the whole space. Tiny. Uh, man, this is great. I mean, this is this is so much more open. You can really, I mean, you walk in and you can see everything because it was all those tiny little offices and little side rooms. So we, got, we got two rooms. We got the Paul Bunyan room and the Davy Crockett room. I'm from Minnesota, so the Paul Bunyan room is... Naturally. Uh, if you remember, this room was just a big blank storage yeah, room. Yeah, storage. So I put a new HVAC, uh, built out the whole wings. Uh, painted everything black in the ceiling, and then torched all the wood, did custom bars on every end. So we kind of pivoted when COVID happened. We took a little pivot, you know, the one thing because we hadn't started to build out. Um, we knew before we had a lot of shared bar tops, um, but as soon as we had COVID, we decided to separate everything so that you naturally have a separation for every single party. Um, so it's COVID friendly or whatever pandemic we have to fight against in the future. Yeah, right. And then if you come out here, you can see our patio. So this is the old building. Oh, so you got even more out here. Yeah. So this is, we have two and a half lanes out here. This is the old loading dock right here. We had the doors here and the door right here. Um, so we took that out. We put our patio around. And then uh, have our outdoor bar seating and, and that as well. So. How are your axe throwing skills? 
Uh, working on them. So, you know, the, the, every time we throw, I mean, anyone can throw an axe, so it's, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, both my wife and I love doing it. All our kids do it, you know, all the way down to my seven-year-old. So, yeah. yeah we love it. You want to throw some with us? Yeah. Let's cool. do it. Try to throw your hat. Land your hat on the stick. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Um, all right, you wanna you wanna sit down and talk a little shot? Yeah. Tell us why you decided to do bad acts. So I think for us, um, both my wife and I, when we started coming here, um, we just loved the city. Uh, we wanted to do a business that was experience-based. Um, you know, we, we love going out to the bars, we love doing that, but we wanted to do something that we could have experience uh, and just have a fun time doing. And we just started looking at different concepts and we actually, we're watch honestly, we're watching uh, you know, World Ice Throwing Competition on yeah. ESPN and I'm like, wait a minute, you know, this would be great. Um, so I ended up talking with the, the owner of Bad X internationally uh, and then we licensed, uh, licensed the concept to do it here. And uh, once we found our space, we knew uh, we could do something bigger. We could really take axe throwing to the next level. Yeah. Um, you know, most majority of axe throwing places do not have full bars, live music stage, full kitchen. Uh, but we wanted to do quality, high-end experience axe throwing with incredible coaches, incredible team. But yet a great place to have a cocktail, not out of a plastic cup. Great yeah. place to have a draft beer and and great uh, great uh, great food. I mean, it seems to me like I mean, obviously every axe throwing place that you go to is an experience. Right. But this is taking it to a whole another level. I mean, you can see the downtown skyline right out the windows. You're two minute walk from Broadway. Yep. Uh, you've got the live music stage, as you said, and this, I mean, this has got to be the biggest axe throwing bar in Nashville, right? It is definitely the biggest axe throwing bar in Tennessee. Uh, it's one of the biggest ones, I think, in the southeastern United States. Wow. I mean, 9,000 square feet, 29 targets. It's one of the bigger ones in the country. And then even on the restaurant side, you know, it's all homemade food. Uh, that's kind of a Northwoods inspired menu with a southern twist. So yep. if you see our menu, it's all items that a little bit of southern staples comfort food but we throw a little bit of a northern twist on it so that people will come here and get the full experience so are y'all part of the world axe throwing league because i know i've seen the hashtags around and talked yeah, about so that we're a member of the world axe throwing league that's a separate league that's the that's a professional side of axe throwing uh there's two different uh axe throwing leagues in the u.s uh, we chose to be part of world axe throwing league which is also uh what bad axe uh, uh throwing is part of also allows us to have leagues here. Uh, so our goal is that the reason we chose the spot off of Broadway is yeah. is really to try to also cater to locals. I mean, I want this to be a place that I want to come. You have parking, you're a little bit off of Broadway, but you're, you're close to Broadway, so you have that experience without having to, you know, fight all the traffic. You can come have late nights. You can compete against your friends, much like in a bowling league. So just like bowling, yeah. And, uh, you know, depending on how you rank and score throughout the year, next thing you know, you might be in one of the Opens. You could be on World Axe Throwing Competition on ESPN. Anyone can do it. You could start axe throwing today, and next thing you know, you're, you're a major competitor pro on, uh, on ESPN with it. Is, that's a fun part about it. Is it true that having a beard makes you better at axe much, throwing? Much better. Yeah, much, much better. I, I need to grow my beard to get much better. Yeah. <laughs> So you're, you're not from Nashville. No. Tell, tell us about the process of, of finding the space. So for us, um, the biggest thing about finding the space, honestly, was partnering with a company and a group that shared our vision, understood what we're looking for. And also, anytime I approach something, I approach it about educating myself. That's a whole fun part of a process. Yeah. If you don't go through a process, and you don't educate yourself, you're not really learning. Right, um, and it's it's so much fun to learn new skills, learn about new things. And what was great, you know, I partnered with you uh, 
um, we were able to go through and learn commercial real estate. This wasn't, I had never, I've done a lot of residential real estate, uh, a lot of custom homes, a lot of residential uh, uh, projects. I'd never been in the commercial real estate space. There was a lot to learn. It's, it's a, a totally different, different animal, isn't it? Totally different industry, yeah. but it was fascinating. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I swear to God, I think we looked at every single property in downtown Nashville Circle. Um, yeah. And I know I would drive you guys nuts because I would literally, the hardest part I think in commercial real estate in Nashville is all these properties that aren't being used. People don't want to lease them. They don't want to sell them. They're not sure. They want to hang on to them. Some of yeah. them are investments. And uh, honestly, I, we spent, I don't know how many hours and days and weeks just driving around. I would send you guys pictures. What about this property? What about this property? Yeah. Let's find this. We're looking on LoopNet, looking on everything. And I can tell you just about everything about almost every building in the downtown core that's this size yeah. and what we were looking for. It helps uh, you really learn the market, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, every single one. And uh, it was it was important to have someone to partner with, though, that could kind of guide us through that, educate us, make myself a, uh, a educated buyer, so to speak, uh, so that we knew what we were getting into. And it was important because then you really knew what you wanted to look for, yeah. what was important, what you what was uh what were really the things to be looking for versus not but it was fun i think uh hopefully we're we're in that sweet spot where we'll start seeing that traffic drive up here um and people know that we're here and they have this great great kind of experience just steps away from broadway yeah well tom thanks for having the team out man hey, really we appreciate, appreciate it, it. Thank tom you. dolly the man Thank behind you. bad axe nashville come out here or, or he will have an axe to grind with you yeah, definitely.